Chapter 14 Designing and Managing Services in the Course ASC1 The learning objectives are identify the characteristics of services, what role do services play as a component of product, and services differentiation. What role do services play as a component of a product? A product could be a pure, tangible good, such as arm and hammer baking soda, a coconut oil. These are pure, tangible goods. Second would be, there could be tangible goods with accompanying services. Then there are hybrid products that are a combination of both goods and services. For example, a cell phone. The cell phone equipment itself is a good, but what is important with the cell phone is also the service. Together, that becomes a hybrid product. There are certain major services with accompanying minor goods and services like air travel. Finally, a pure service like visiting a doctor's office. Now, what are some of the characteristics of services? Services are intangible. They're inseparable from service providers. They're perishable because you cannot store services. They cannot be standardized. Buyers play a very important role in creation and distribution of services and therefore, the perishability characteristic of services. There is wide variations in service standards and therefore, services cannot be standardized. When the physical product cannot easily be differentiated, the key to competitive success may lie in adding valued services and improving the quality. The main service differentiators are ordering ease, delivery, installation, customer training, customer consulting, and maintenance and repair. In summary, a service is any act or performance that one party can offer to another that is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything. It may or may not be tied to a physical product. Services are intangible, inseparable, variable, and perishable. Each characteristic poses challenges and requires certain strategies. Marketers must find ways to give tangibility to intangibles, to increase the productivity of service providers, to increase and standardize the quality of the service provided, and to match the supply of services with market demand. Marketing of services faces new realities in the 21st century due to customer empowerment, customer co-production, and the need to satisfy employees as well as customers. Achieving excellence in service marketing calls not only for external marketing, but also for internal marketing to motivate employees, as well as interactive marketing to emphasize the importance of both high-tech and high-touch. Top service companies adopt a strategic concept, have a history of top management commitment to quality, commit to high standards, establish profit tiers, and pay attention to their systems for monitoring service performance and customer complaints. They also differentiate their brands through primary and secondary service features and continual innovation. Superior service delivery requires managing customer expectations and incorporating self-service technologies. Customers' expectations play a critical role in their service experiences and evaluations. Companies must manage service quality by understanding the effects of each service encounter. Even product-based companies must provide post-purchase service. To offer the best support, a manufacturer must identify the services customers value most and their relative importance. The service mix includes both pre-sale services, facilitating and value augmenting services, and post-sale services, customer service departments, repair and maintenance services. What is the role of services as a component of a product? Services can play different roles depending on the nature of the product. They can be pure tangible goods, tangible goods with accompanying services, hybrid products, or pure services. Give an example of a pure tangible good. Arm and Hammer baking soda and coconut oil are examples of pure tangible goods explain the concept of hybrid products. Hybrid products are a combination of both goods and services. They consist of a tangible good and accompanying services an example is a cell phone, where the equipment itself is a good, but the service, network connectivity, data plans, etc., is also essential. What does it mean when services are described as inseparable from service providers? Services are inseparable from service providers because they are typically created and delivered. Simultaneously, the provider and the service are intertwined, 
and the consumer interacts directly with the service provider during the service encounter, why are services perishable? Services are perishable because they cannot be stored or inventoried for future use. They are time-bound and must be consumed or experienced at the time of their production. Can services be standardized? Why or why not services cannot be easily standardized because they often involve human interactions, which can vary in quality and performance service delivery depends on the skills, expertise, and behavior of service providers. Leading to variations in service standards, how do buyers contribute to the perishability characteristic of services? Buyers contribute to the perishability of services by participating in the creation and distribution process. Their demand for services and the timing of their requests directly affect the availability of services at a particular time. Why is adding valued services important when the physical product cannot be easily differentiated? When physical products cannot be easily differentiated, adding valued services becomes crucial for competitive success services can provide a unique selling proposition, enhance the customer experience, and create differentiation in the marketplace Name some of the main service differentiators. Some main service differentiators include ordering ease, delivery, installation, customer training, customer consulting, and maintenance and repair how does ordering ease contribute to service differentiation ordering ease refers to the convenience and simplicity of the ordering process for customers it can differentiate a service by providing efficient and user-friendly methods for placing orders in what way does delivery impact service differentiation delivery plays a significant role in service differentiation by ensuring timely and reliable transportation or transfer of the service to the customer efficient and effective delivery can enhance the overall customer experience why is customer training an important service differentiator customer training differentiates a service by providing education and support to customers in using and optimizing the service it enhances customer satisfaction and helps them derive maximum value from the service. How does customer consulting contribute to service differentiation? Customer consulting involves providing expert advice, guidance, and personalized recommendations to customers. It adds value by addressing specific customer needs and enhancing the overall service experience. Explain the role of maintenance and repair in service differentiation. Maintenance and repair services differentiate a product by ensuring its continuous functioning and addressing any issues or problems that may arise prompt and effective maintenance and repair contribute to customer satisfaction and loyalty. What are some challenges in managing services as a component of a product? Challenges in managing services include maintaining service quality, managing customer expectations, training and developing service providers, addressing service variability, and ensuring consistency in service delivery. How can service providers overcome the intangibility of services? Service providers can overcome the intangibility of services by emphasizing tangible elements, such as physical evidence, branding, and creating a positive service environment. They can also use visual aids, demonstrations, or testimonials to make the service more tangible to customers Give an example of a service that is highly standardized. An example of a highly standardized service is a fast food chain where the menu, food preparation processes, and customer service are designed to be consistent across different locations. Explain the concept of service customization. Service customization refers to tailoring the service experience to meet the specific needs and preferences of individual customers. It involves providing personalized solutions, options, or adaptations to enhance customer satisfaction. How can service providers manage the perishability of services? Service providers can manage the perishability of services by implementing effective demand forecasting and capacity management strategies. This can involve using reservation systems, appointment scheduling, or flexible workforce planning to match service supply with. Demand why is it important for service providers to continuously improve service quality? Continuous improvement of service quality is important for service providers to meet or exceed customer expectations, stay competitive, build customer loyalty, and maintain a positive reputation in the market. 
what factors can influence the variation in service standards? Factors such as differences in employee skills and training, service provider attitudes and behaviors, technology utilization, and resource availability can contribute to variations in service standards. How can services be differentiated in a highly competitive market? Services can be differentiated in a highly competitive market by offering unique features, personalized experiences, superior customer service, innovative solutions, and value-added services that go beyond the core offering what role does customer feedback play in service improvement. Customer feedback plays a crucial role in service improvement by providing insights into customer expectations, identifying areas for improvement, and allowing service providers to make necessary adjustments to enhance the overall service experience. How can service providers ensure consistency in service delivery? Service providers can ensure consistency in service delivery by establishing clear service standards, providing comprehensive training to service personnel, implementing standardized processes and procedures, and conducting regular quality control assessments explain the concept of service recovery. Service recovery refers to the actions taken by service providers to address and resolve customer complaints or issues. It involves acknowledging the problem, apologizing, finding a solution, and taking steps to prevent similar problems in the future. What are the potential benefits of effective service recovery? Effective service recovery can help regain customer trust, improve customer satisfaction, reduce negative word of mouth, increase customer loyalty, and turn a dissatisfied customer into a loyal advocate for the service. How can technology be utilized to enhance service delivery? Technology can be utilized to enhance service delivery by automating processes, improving efficiency, providing self-service options, enabling online ordering and tracking, facilitating real-time communication, and personalizing the customer experience Give an example of a service that heavily relies on customer participation. An example of a service that heavily relies on customer participation is a self-checkout system at a grocery store, where customers scan and bag their items themselves. How can service providers manage customer expectations? Service providers can manage customer expectations through effective communication, setting clear service standards, providing accurate information, and ensuring transparency about service features, limitations, and potential outcomes explain the concept of co-creation in service delivery. Co-creation in service delivery involves active collaboration between the service provider and the customer to create value and achieve the desired outcome. It recognizes that customers have unique needs and preferences, and their input is valuable in shaping the service experience what are some potential challenges in delivering high-quality services? Some potential challenges in delivering high-quality services include maintaining consistency, managing service variability, handling peak demand periods, addressing customer complaints or dissatisfaction, and ensuring effective communication throughout the service encounter. How can service providers differentiate themselves through customer service? Service providers can differentiate themselves through customer service, by providing prompt, courteous, and personalized assistance, actively listening to customer needs, going above and beyond to meet customer expectations, and building strong customer relationships explain the concept of service bundling. Service bundling involves combining multiple services into a single offering or package, it allows customers to access a variety of services conveniently, and can provide cost savings or added value compared to purchasing individual services. Separately, how can service providers create a positive service environment? Service providers can create a positive service environment by paying attention to physical surroundings, ambience, cleanliness, comfort, and aesthetics. Additionally, they can train employees to have a positive attitude, be helpful, and create a welcoming atmosphere. Give an example of a service that heavily relies on customer consulting. An example of a service that heavily relies on customer consulting is management consulting, where consultants work closely with clients to analyze business challenges, develop strategies, and provide expert advice how can service providers ensure consistency and service quality across different locations. 
Service providers can ensure consistency and service quality across different locations by implementing standardized processes, providing comprehensive training to employees, conducting regular performance assessments, and maintaining effective communication channels. What strategies can service providers use to differentiate their services in a global market? Service providers can differentiate their services in a global market by understanding local cultures and preferences, adapting their services to meet specific market needs, leveraging technology for seamless cross-border service delivery, and building strong partnerships or alliances, explain the concept of service tangibilization. Service tangibilization refers to the process of making intangible services more tangible or visible to customers. This can be achieved through the use of physical cues, visual representations, branding, or providing supporting tangible elements. Along with the service, how can service providers manage customer complaints effectively? Service providers can manage customer complaints effectively by promptly acknowledging the complaint, actively listening to the customer, apologizing when appropriate, finding a satisfactory solution, and following up to ensure customer satisfaction. Give an example of a service that heavily relies on customer training. An example of a service that heavily relies on customer training is software training, where customers are taught how to use specific software applications effectively. How can service providers leverage social media to enhance their services? Service providers can leverage social media by actively engaging with customers, responding to inquiries or feedback, sharing relevant information or updates, running promotional campaigns, and creating a community where customers can interact and share experiences, explain the concept of service personalization. Service personalization involves tailoring the service experience to meet the unique needs, preferences, and characteristics of individual customers it goes beyond customization by recognizing and addressing the specific requirements of each customer. What are some potential risks or challenges in service customization? Some potential risks or challenges in service customization include increased complexity in service delivery, the need for flexible and adaptable systems, managing customer expectations, ensuring cost effectiveness, and maintaining consistency in service quality, how can service providers ensure the confidentiality and security of customer information? Service providers can ensure the confidentiality and security of customer information by implementing robust data protection measures, adhering to relevant privacy regulations, using secure communication channels, and regularly reviewing and updating security protocols, give an example of a service that heavily relies on installation. An example of a service that heavily relies on installation is home theater installation, where professionals are hired to set up and configure the audio and video equipment in a customer's home. How can service providers measure customer satisfaction? Service providers can measure customer satisfaction through various methods such as customer surveys, feedback forms, online reviews, net promoter score, NPS surveys, focus groups, and monitoring customer complaints or compliments explain the concept of service innovation. Service innovation refers to the development and introduction of new or improved services that meet evolving customer needs, leverage emerging technologies, or create unique value propositions. It involves thinking creatively and exploring new service concepts or delivery methods. How can service providers effectively manage customer expectations during peak demand periods? Service providers can effectively manage customer expectations during peak demand periods by providing clear information about potential delays, offering options for appointment scheduling or reservations, managing wait times effectively, and communicating proactively with customers what are some potential benefits of offering self-service options to customers. Some potential benefits of offering self-service options to customers include increased convenience and accessibility, reduced operational costs, faster service delivery, empowerment of customers, and improved overall customer experience. How can service providers encourage customer loyalty? Service providers can encourage customer loyalty by consistently delivering high-quality services, building strong relationships through personalized interactions, offering loyalty programs or rewards, 
seeking and acting on customer feedback, and resolving issues promptly and effectively explain the concept of service standardization. Service standardization involves establishing a set of predetermined guidelines, processes, and performance benchmarks to ensure consistent service delivery across different locations or service encounters. It helps maintain quality and efficiency. How can service providers effectively manage service variability? Service providers can effectively manage service variability by investing in employee training and development, implementing standardized processes, using technology to automate and streamline service delivery, and closely monitoring service performance to identify and address variations. Give an example of a service that heavily relies on maintenance and repair. An example of a service that heavily relies on maintenance and repair is automobile servicing where regular maintenance and repair are required to keep the vehicle in optimal condition, how can service providers foster a culture of service excellence among employees? Service providers can foster a culture of service excellence among employees by setting clear service expectations, providing comprehensive training and development opportunities, recognizing and rewarding exceptional service performance, and fostering a customer-centric mindset throughout the organization, explain the concept of service empathy. Service empathy refers to the ability of service providers to understand and relate to the emotions, needs, and concerns of customers. It involves showing genuine care, actively listening, and demonstrating empathy in interactions to create a positive emotional connection with customers. What are the potential drawbacks of over-reliance on technology in service delivery? Some potential drawbacks of over-reliance on technology in service delivery include reduced personal interaction, loss of human touch or empathy, technological failures or glitches, customer dissatisfaction with self-service options, and increased vulnerability to cyber threats. How can service providers effectively manage customer expectations when service standards vary? Service providers can effectively manage customer expectations when service standards vary by setting clear expectations up front, providing accurate and transparent information about service limitations or variations, and delivering on promises made to customers give an example of a service that heavily relies on customer consulting. An example of a service that heavily relies on customer consulting is financial planning where financial advisors work closely with clients to assess their financial goals, provide personalized recommendations, and develop customized strategies. How can service providers ensure a consistent service experience across different customer touchpoints? Service providers can ensure a consistent service experience across different customer touchpoints by aligning processes, training employees to deliver consistent service standards, implementing integrated customer relationship management, CRM, systems, and regularly monitoring and improving service performance explain the concept of service augmentation. Service augmentation involves adding additional features, benefits, or enhancements to the core service to create a more valuable and differentiated offering. It aims to exceed customer expectations and provide a superior service experience. What role does customer education play in service delivery? Customer education plays a crucial role in service delivery by providing customers with the necessary knowledge, skills, or information to make informed decisions, effectively use the service, and maximize its benefits. It helps empower customers and improves their overall experience. How can service providers effectively manage customer complaints and turn them into opportunities? Service providers can effectively manage customer complaints and turn them into opportunities by actively listening to customers, empathizing with their concerns, taking ownership of the issue, offering a prompt and satisfactory resolution, and following up to ensure customer satisfaction. Give an example of a service that heavily relies on delivery. An example of a service that heavily relies on delivery is courier services, where timely and reliable delivery of packages or documents is essential, how can service providers continuously monitor and improve service quality? Service providers can continuously monitor and improve service quality by collecting and analyzing customer feedback, conducting regular performance evaluations, benchmarking against industry standards, 
implementing quality management systems, and fostering a culture of continuous learning and improvement true or false. Services play a role as a component of a product. True, services can be a component of a product, either as pure services, hybrid products, or tangible goods with accompanying services true or false. Pure tangible goods do not involve any services. True, pure tangible goods do not involve any accompanying services true or false. Tangible goods with accompanying services are considered hybrid products. False. Tangible goods with accompanying services are not considered hybrid products, but rather a combination of goods and services true or false. A cell phone is an example of a hybrid product. True. A cell phone consists of both tangible goods, the equipment, and services, such as network connectivity and customer support. True or false. Air travel is an example of a pure service. False. Air travel involves major services, egg transportation, along with minor goods and services, egg in-flight meals, entertainment, true or false. Visiting a doctor's office is an example of a pure service. True. Visiting a doctor's office primarily involves the provision of services without any tangible goods, true or false. Services are intangible in nature. True. Services lack physical presence and are not tangible like goods true or false. Services can be separated from service providers. False. Services are inseparable from the service providers who deliver them true or false. Services are perishable and cannot be stored. True. Services cannot be stored and must be consumed or delivered at the time they are produced true or false. Services can be easily standardized. False. Services often vary in quality and cannot be easily standardized due to their reliance on human interactions and variability true or false. Buyers play an important role in the creation and distribution of services. True. Buyers actively participate in the creation and distribution of services through their interactions with service providers true or false. When physical products cannot be easily differentiated, the key to competitive success may lie in adding valued services and improving quality. True, in such cases, differentiating through valuable services and improving overall quality can be a competitive advantage, true or false. Ordering ease is a main service differentiator. True, ordering ease, which focuses on making it convenient and easy for customers to place orders or book services, is a main service differentiator, true or false. Delivery is a main service differentiator, true. Delivery, ensuring timely and efficient delivery of services, is a main service differentiator, true or false. Installation is a main service differentiator, true. Installation, providing expert installation services if required, is a main service differentiator, true or false. Customer training is a main service differentiator, true. Customer training, offering training programs to help customers maximize the value of the service, is a main service differentiator, true or false. Customer consulting is a main service differentiator, true. Customer consulting, providing personalized advice and consultation to address specific customer needs, is a main service differentiator, true or false. Maintenance and repair is a main service differentiator, true. Maintenance and repair, offering prompt and reliable maintenance and repair services, is a main service differentiator, true or false. Services differentiation can be crucial when the physical product cannot be easily differentiated, true. When physical products lack differentiation, Services can be a key factor in providing competitive advantage true or false. Improving service quality can be a strategy to enhance competitive success. True, enhancing service quality can help differentiate a product and improve competitive success true or false. Adding valued services can be a way to stand out in a competitive market. True, by adding valuable services, a company can differentiate itself from competitors and attract customers true or false. Services are standardized across different providers. False. Services often vary in quality and standards across different providers true or false. 
Buyers' participation is essential in the creation and distribution of services due to the perishability characteristic of services. True, buyers' active involvement is crucial in the creation and distribution of services, especially considering their perishability true or false. Service standards vary widely due to the involvement of buyers in the service process. True, service standards can vary significantly due to the active role of buyers in the service process true or false. Services are easily replicated by competitors. False, services can be difficult to replicate due to their intangible and variable nature true or false. The value of services can surpass the value of physical goods in certain cases. True. In some cases, the value derived from services can be more significant than the value of physical goods true or false. Services cannot be differentiated from one another. False. Services can be differentiated based on their quality, features, and customer experience true or false. The quality of services can significantly impact customer satisfaction and loyalty. True. The quality of services plays a crucial role in customer satisfaction and loyalty true or false. Services are static and do not change over time. False. Services can evolve and change over time to meet changing customer needs and preferences true or false. Services are less important than physical products in the marketplace. False. Services play a significant role in the marketplace and can be vital for customer satisfaction and business success true or false. Services require physical presence to be delivered. False. Services can be delivered without physical presence, relying on technology, and remote interactions true or false. Services cannot be marketed effectively due to their intangible nature. False. Services can be marketed effectively through effective communication, branding, and customer experience management true or false. Service providers are not involved in the creation of services. False. Service providers actively participate in the creation and delivery of services true or false. Services cannot be customized to meet individual customer needs. False. Services can be customized to cater to specific customer preferences and requirements true or false. Services cannot be returned or exchanged like physical products. True. Services, being intangible, cannot be returned or exchanged in the same way as physical products true or false. Service providers have a limited impact on the quality of services. False. Service providers have a significant impact on the quality of services through their skills, expertise, and customer interactions true or false. Services can be delivered simultaneously to multiple customers. True. Services can be delivered simultaneously to multiple customers, depending on the nature of the service true or false. Service quality is solely determined by the service provider. False. Service quality is a result of the interaction between the service provider and the customer true or false. Services cannot be stored for future use. True. Services are perishable and cannot be stored for future use true or false. Service delivery involves physical products in all cases. False. Service delivery may or may not involve physical products, depending on the nature of the service true or false. Services are highly standardized across different providers. False. Service standards can vary significantly across different providers true or false. Services rely on human interactions and expertise. True. Services often involve human interactions and expertise, contributing to their quality and variability true or false. Services can be differentiated through customer experience and interactions. True. Customer experience and interactions are key factors in differentiating services true or false. Services cannot be marketed separately from physical products. False. Services can be marketed separately and independently from physical products true or false. Services are not subject to quality control measures. False. Services undergo quality control measures to ensure consistent service delivery true or false. Service providers have limited control over customer perceptions and satisfaction. False. Service providers have a significant influence on customer perceptions and satisfaction through their actions and service delivery true or false. 
Service customization is not feasible due to the variability of customer preferences. False. Service customization is feasible and can be tailored to individual customer preferences true or false. Services cannot be evaluated based on tangible attributes. True. Services are intangible and therefore cannot be evaluated solely based on tangible attributes true or false. Service providers are not responsible for service failures or deficiencies. False. Service providers are responsible for addressing service failures and deficiencies and ensuring customer satisfaction true or false. Services are less important in the digital age where tangible goods dominate. False. Services continue to play a vital role in the digital age, complementing and enhancing the value of tangible goods true or false. Services can be standardized to ensure consistent quality across providers. False. Services often resist standardization due to their inherent variability and reliance on human interactions true or false. Service differentiation is not crucial when physical products are easily distinguishable. False. Service differentiation can still be important even when physical products are easily distinguishable to provide added value and competitive advantage true or false. Services are not subject to obsolescence like physical products. False. Services can become obsolete over time due to changing customer needs and technological advancements. True or false. Services play a critical role in enhancing customer loyalty and retention. True. High-quality services can significantly contribute to customer loyalty and retention. True or false. Services are always provided by specialized service providers. False. Services can be provided by both specialized service providers and non-specialized entities. True or false. Services cannot be marketed based on their unique features and benefits. False. Services can be marketed based on their unique features, benefits, and value propositions. True or false. Service delivery involves customer interactions and engagement. True. Service delivery often involves customer interactions and engagement with the service provider, true or false. Services do not require ongoing customer support and assistance, false. Services often require ongoing customer support and assistance to ensure customer satisfaction, true or false. Services are not subject to quality improvement and innovation, false. Services can undergo continuous quality improvement and innovation to meet evolving customer expectations, true or false. Services cannot be visualized or experienced before purchase. True. Unlike tangible goods, services are intangible and cannot be fully visualized or experienced before purchase, true or false. Service providers have limited control over service delivery timelines. False. Service providers have control over service delivery timelines and strive to meet customer expectations, true or false. Services cannot be priced separately from tangible goods. False. Services can be priced separately from tangible goods based on their value and cost true or false. Services cannot be patented or protected by intellectual property rights. False. Certain services can be patented or protected by intellectual property rights if they meet the relevant criteria true or false. Services cannot be outsourced or provided by external parties. False. Services can be outsourced or provided by external parties through outsourcing or subcontracting arrangements true or false. Services are irrelevant in industries dominated by tangible goods. False. Services can still play a crucial role even in industries dominated by tangible goods by providing value-added experiences and differentiation of services any act or performance that one party can offer to another that is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything. It may or may not be tied to a physical product. Services are intangible, inseparable, variable, and perishable. Each characteristic poses challenges and requires certain strategies. Marketers must find ways to give tangibility to intangibles, to increase the productivity of service providers, to increase and standardize the quality of the service provided, and to match the supply of services with market demand. Marketing of services faces new realities in the 21st century. Due to customer empowerment, 
customer cup reduction, and the need to satisfy employees as well as customers, achieving excellence in service marketing calls not only for external marketing, but also for internal marketing to motivate employees, as well as interactive marketing to emphasize the importance of both high-tech and high-touch. Top service companies adopt a strategic concept, have a history of top management commitment to quality, commit to high standards, establish profit tiers, and pay attention to their systems for monitoring service performance and customer complaints. They also differentiate their brands through primary and secondary service features and continual innovation. Superior service delivery requires managing customer expectations and incorporating self-service technologies. Customers' expectations play a critical role in their service experiences and evaluations. Companies must manage service quality by understanding the effects of each service encounter. Even product-based companies must provide post-purchase service. To offer the best support, a manufacturer must identify the services customers value most and their relative importance. The service mix includes both pre-sale services, facilitating and value augmenting services, and post-sale services, customer service departments, repair and maintenance services. What is a service? A service is any act or performance that one party can offer to another that is essentially intangible and does not result in the ownership of anything. What are the characteristics of services? The characteristics of services are intangibility, inseparability, variability, and perishability. What is meant by the inseparability of services? The inseparability of services means that services are produced and consumed simultaneously. They are typically created and delivered in the presence of the customer. Why are services considered variable? Services are considered variable because they can vary in quality and performance due to factors such as human involvement, customer interactions, and situational factors. What is the perishability of services? The perishability of services refers to the fact that services cannot be stored or saved for future use. They are time-sensitive and must be consumed when they are produced. Why is it important for marketers to give tangibility to intangible services? It is important for marketers to give tangibility to intangible services because customers often rely on tangible cues or evidence to evaluate and understand the service they are receiving. How can the productivity of service providers be increased? The productivity of service providers can be increased through training, technology adoption, process improvements, and effective resource allocation. Why is it important to increase and standardize the quality of service provided? Increasing and standardizing the quality of service provided is important to meet customer expectations, build trust, differentiate from competitors, and enhance customer satisfaction. How can marketers match the supply of services with market demand? Marketers can match the supply of services with market demand by conducting market research, forecasting demand, optimizing resource allocation, and implementing effective scheduling and capacity management strategies. What are the new realities that service marketing faces in the 21st century? The new realities that service marketing faces in the 21st century include customer empowerment, customer cup reduction, and the need to satisfy employees as well as customers. What is internal marketing? Internal marketing is the process of motivating and engaging employees within an organization to deliver excellent service experiences. It involves treating employees as internal customers. What is interactive marketing? Interactive marketing is the process of engaging customers in personalized and interactive experiences to build relationships, understand their needs, and deliver tailored services. What are some characteristics of top service companies? Some characteristics of top service companies include adopting a strategic concept, demonstrating top management commitment to quality, setting high standards, monitoring service performance, and differentiating their brands through innovation. How can service companies differentiate their brands? Service companies can differentiate their brands through primary and secondary service features, which are unique attributes and characteristics that set them apart from competitors. They can also differentiate through continual innovation. 
Why is managing customer expectations important in service delivery? Managing customer expectations is important in service delivery because customers' expectations play a critical role in their service experiences and evaluations. Meeting or exceeding expectations is key to customer satisfaction. How can self-service technologies contribute to superior service delivery? Self-service technologies allow customers to perform certain service tasks independently, reducing the reliance on service providers. This can enhance convenience, speed, and efficiency in service delivery. Why do product-based companies need to provide post-purchase service? Product-based companies need to provide post-purchase service to offer support, address customer inquiries or issues, provide maintenance or repairs, and build customer loyalty and satisfaction. What is the service mix? The service mix refers to the combination of pre-sale services, which facilitate and augment the value of the core service, and post-sale services, such as customer service departments and repair-slash-maintenance services. Why is it important for a manufacturer to identify the services customers value most? It is important for a manufacturer to identify the services customers value most to prioritize resource allocation, improve customer satisfaction, and differentiate their offering from competitors. What is the role of customer service departments in the service mix? Customer service departments play a role in the service mix by providing assistance, handling inquiries or complaints, and ensuring customer satisfaction after the purchase of a product or service. How can companies manage service quality? Companies can manage service quality by understanding the effects of each service encounter, setting quality standards, training employees, monitoring performance, gathering customer feedback, and continuously improving processes. Why is understanding the effects of each service encounter important? Understanding the effects of each service encounter is important because it allows companies to identify moments of truth and critical touch points where customers form perceptions of the service quality and overall experience. Why is managing customer complaints important? Managing customer complaints is important to address issues promptly, resolve problems, and turn negative experiences into positive ones. It helps retain customers, maintain reputation, and improve service quality. What is the role of continual innovation in service differentiation? Continual innovation helps service companies differentiate themselves by introducing new or improved service offerings, incorporating new technologies, and staying ahead of competitors. How can service providers incorporate self-service technologies effectively? Service providers can incorporate self-service technologies effectively by designing user-friendly interfaces, providing clear instructions and support, ensuring system reliability, and offering assistance when needed. What are some strategies to increase the tangibility of intangible services? Strategies to increase the tangibility of intangible services include using physical cues, egg, uniforms, brochures, providing visual representations or demonstrations, using testimonials or case studies, and offering tangible artifacts or souvenirs. How can marketers increase the productivity of service providers? Marketers can increase the productivity of service providers through training programs, efficient workflow design, automation of repetitive tasks, effective resource allocation, and performance incentives. What are the benefits of standardizing the quality of service provided? Standardizing the quality of service provided ensures consistency, reduces variability, builds customer trust, improves operational efficiency, and facilitates benchmarking and continuous improvement efforts. How can marketers effectively match the supply of services with market demand? Marketers can effectively match the supply of services with market demand by conducting demand forecasting, using data analytics and market research, implementing flexible scheduling and capacity management techniques, and optimizing resource allocation. How does customer empowerment impact service marketing in the 21st century? Customer empowerment gives customers more control, access to information, and influence over their service experiences. It requires companies to be more customer-centric, responsive, and adaptable to individual needs and preferences. What is customer co-production in service marketing? 
Customer co-production refers to the active involvement of customers in the creation and delivery of services. Customers contribute their efforts, resources, or knowledge to co-create value and personalize their service experiences. Why is internal marketing important in achieving excellence in service marketing? Internal marketing is important in achieving excellence in service marketing because motivated and engaged employees are more likely to deliver exceptional service experiences, creating positive customer interactions and building long-term customer relationships. How can companies integrate high-tech and high-touch approaches in interactive marketing? Companies can integrate high-tech and high-touch approaches in interactive marketing by using technology to enhance personalization, customization, and self-service options while still maintaining human interaction and personalized assistance when needed. What does it mean for a service company to have a strategic concept? Having a strategic concept means that a service company has a clear vision, positioning, and value proposition that differentiates it from competitors. It guides decision-making and the overall direction of the company. Why is top management commitment to quality important for service companies? Top management commitment to quality sets the tone and priorities for the entire organization. It ensures that quality is a priority, resources are allocated, and processes are in place to deliver excellent service experiences. How can service companies differentiate their brands through primary and secondary service features? Service companies can differentiate their brands by offering unique primary service features, which are core aspects of the service that provide distinct benefits. They can also differentiate through secondary service features, which are additional value-added elements that enhance the overall service experience. What are profit tiers in the context of service companies? Profit tiers refer to categorizing customers or services based on their profitability. Service companies may prioritize high-profit customers or services while managing lower-profit ones differently to maximize overall profitability. Why is monitoring service performance important for service companies? Monitoring service performance allows service companies to track their adherence to quality standards, identify areas for improvement, make data-driven decisions, and ensure consistent service delivery across different touchpoints. How do customer expectations impact their service experiences and evaluations? Customer expectations serve as a benchmark against which service experiences are evaluated. If the actual service meets or exceeds expectations, customers are more likely to be satisfied. If expectations are not met, customers may feel disappointed or dissatisfied. What is the role of post-purchase service in product-based companies? Post-purchase service in product-based companies involves providing support, warranty coverage, repairs, maintenance, and other assistance to customers after they have purchased a product. It helps ensure customer satisfaction and build long-term relationships. What are pre-sale services in the service mix? Pre-sale services in the service mix refer to the services provided before the actual sale or purchase. They include facilitating services that make it easier for customers to